anywhere. Shh. No names. Okay. I think it's safe to make our move. Tread quietly. One twig snap, one leaf crackle, and he'll be on us like a hawk. Today's the day we're finally going to earn our trailblazing merit badges. Just imagine. We'll be blazing a trail through a totally unexplored stretch of bear country. And we're going to do it on our own this time, without the help of the world's greatest expert. Morning, Scout. Where's Papa Q Bear? Shh. And we just have to earn at least one merit badge on our own, right? Right. <coughs> what was that? Just the bird. The Trailblazer badge is a biggie. Right. Because nobody has ever blazed the trail through the great wilderness. Yeah. Sinister swamp. Ugh. And impenetrable bog. Ugh. And grizzly gorge. Ugh. I think we did it. Phew. Mm -hmm. Papa. Thought you'd never get here. Well, come on. If you're going to earn those Trailblazer merit badges, we'd better get on with it. But, Papa, how did you know? Simple. I read your Bear Scout bulletin. Papa, reading other people's bulletins? Let's get to it, Bear Scouts. We've got trails to blaze, bugs to brave, a great wilderness to conquer. What's that? Air attack! Help! Run for your lives! Duck and cover! <laughs> Bear Scouts? Uh, Papa, it's just Scout Leader Jane and a rented chopper. Oh, so it is. <laughs> What's she doing here? Well, this is your big day, Scouts. I'll be observing and evaluating your trailblazing performance from the air. Noisy busybody. As I live and breathe, trailblazer Papa Q Bear, who, as I recall, blazed a trail through the great Brazilian jungle. And you're right. Which eventually became the Alcon Highway. Uh, how'd you know that? And who found the pass through the high Andes? I... Why? Why? Because they were there! You're right. Now, Scouts... Uh, I, you, you can count on me, Scout Leader Jane. You'll be exploring places few bears have ever gone before. And I'm glad that you'll have an adult along even if it is Papa Q Bear. Trailblazing formation for gear inspection. Map, compass, trail rations, and most important, the Bear Scout Guidebook. Huh, you're asking me, Papa Q Bear, for a silly guidebook? I'm the one who blazed a trail through the great Brazilian jungle, remember? Right. I've got the guidebook, Scout Leader Jane. Thank you, sister. Now I'd like to go over a few of the basic trailblazing tools. Twig pointer technique, a stone arrow, and blaze marks. It encompasses trail rations, twig pointers, stuff and nonsense. And fuss and feathers. I don't need all that high-tech equipment. Goodbye, scouts, and good luck. Bye. See you at the end of the trail. Yeah, I know instinctively which way to go, which trail to follow. Trailblazers, follow me! Papa, this way. Trailblazers, march! March, march, march. Oh, my. We march, march, march through muck and mire. We blaze the trail, we never tire. We march, march, march through muck and mire. We blaze the trail, we never tire. We march, march, march through muck and mire. We blaze the trail, we never tire. That way. This twig pointer will show the way to those who follow us. Mark it on the map, brother. Map schmap. All this marking and mapping is much too slow and tedious. I, Papa Q-Bear, depend on my natural wood sense. 
the ancient wisdom of the bears. And get your own hat. For instance, here's a shortcut. Much faster than inching along these twisting paths. Just follow me across these sunken logs. No, Papa. The guidebook says... When blazing a trail through swamp and bog, never step on a sunken log. <laughs> Let me see here. What little gems am I gonna find in the Swindler's News? Magic Honey Machine, Surefire Sucker Bait. Nah, tried that last year. Uh, driveway topping, guaranteed never to dry. Not bad. I'll put it on the back burner. Ah, dang scissor birds, always cutting up. Uh, dang old swamp. Full of weird creatures. Uh, present company accepted, of course. Ah, but it's home. Hmm, this looks interesting. Big bucks and showbiz. Wanted. Odd and unusual acts. No act too big, no act too small. Contact McGreed Entertainment. Hmm, I'll have to keep my eyes open for an odd and unusual act. Contact McGreed Entertainment. I just might do that. He's been like this for days. Storming, humming, staring at nothing. Poor Big Pa. He's certainly not himself. Wonder what he's depressed about. I think he keeps to himself too much. He's got to get more into things. Hey, maybe we can get him a job. That might be just the thing. Great idea. Well, what do you think, Big Pa? Gee, with your tremendous strength, there are all sorts of jobs you can do. Big Pa very strong. Okay, Big Pa go with you. You like Big Pa to carry you? Uh, well, no thanks, Big Pa. We'd rather walk. Agreed, yeah? Oh, it's you. Oh, what sort of act? Uh-huh. Well, it better be good. In fact, it better be better than that last deal of yours. That flyaway pizza was an L-E-M-O-N! Lemon! Uh, meet me in 15 minutes. Uh, yes, Archweasel. <laughs> so good to hear your voice. Little cubs have fun. How about a job helping in the daycare center? Big Paw love little cubs. Well, I can use all the help I can get. Big Paw love to push little cub on swing. Go right ahead. Now, me push you down slide. Slide? Oh, oh no thanks, Big Paw. Uh, I mean, I think you're a bit too strong for cub care. <laughs> it's all right. We'll find you something else. Maybe we should play to your strength. That's about it. All you gotta do is load the truck with bricks. <laughs> Big Paw likes to pick up bricks. I knew he'd fit in. Go for it, Big Pa. Oh! Oh! Big Pa pick up plenty bricks, huh? You want to give me a job? Uh, yeah, I, I, I'd like to, but uh, you put all the other brickyard bears out of work. Oh, me no want to do that. Keep your chin up, Big Pa. There are lots of jobs out there. You'll fit in someplace. Uh, just a little farther, Chief. Ah, strange weather we've been having lately. You addle-pated nincompoop! It better be worth all this trouble. Oh, uh, it will be. This is a real surefire can't-miss attraction. I mean, this guy is big. Oh, yeah? Then how about pointing out this giant gold mine of yours? Well, 
Here, here's a note. Hand it over. Gone to town? Of all the time-wasting incompetence! I've got a schedule to maintain. There's evil to be done, you fiddle-headed boob! Uh, sorry about the mix-up, Chief, uh, but I'll find the guy for you. That's a promise. Hey, you want to see some fancy skateboarding? Sure, go ahead. Here we go, the flying skateboard mid-air leap. Very good. If you think that's something, watch this. Hold it there, Sonny. That's old Shake Bark Hickory you're playing fast and loose with. Gee, Gramps, it's only a tree. Only a tree? Only a tree? You might have a little more respect for your elders, young'un, and that includes old Shake Bark here. The old Shake Bark Hickory is important. It means something. Why, it's our roots. Gee, Gramps, I didn't mean anything. Hush, Grandsonny. Why, Bear Town was built around this old tree. Yeah, I guess it is pretty important. You bet your buttons, granddaughter. Why, bears great and small have been coming here since before I was knee-high to a beetle bug to scratch their backs on the wonderful shaggy bark. Arrgh. Come on, cub, give her a try. No, 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 not like that. Really get your backs into it. Trouble with cubs today, don't get their backs into anything. Hey. Yeah, this is pretty good. I told you you'd like it. Good old Shake Bark hasn't let anybody down yet. See, another fine bear country citizen coming to pay tribute to old Shake Bark Hickory to get in touch with his feelings to scratch his back. Uh, excuse me. Huh? Condemned? Condemned? Now just hold on there, young feller. Just who do you think you are, Mr. High and Mighty, marching up and nailing signs on our tree? He's from the Bear Country Highway Department, Graham. I can read. <sighs> but you can't condemn the hickory. It's been around since this was nothing but wild countryside. It survived fire and flood and famine and frost and drought and war and even, and even, and, and, and cubs. No mistake. There's a new highway coming in through here, and that tree creates a traffic bottleneck. Hey, all I know is that tree has to go to make room for the new highway. But Bear Town doesn't need any newfangled highway. Who could be at the bottom of this terrible, awful, disgusting scheme? Ah, that'll be a four-way traffic light here in front of Town Hall. We'll time it extra long so everyone can look up and see the name of the new highway. The Honorable Horace J. Highpot Honeyway. I, I, I mean, the Honeypot Highway. Right. Every time anyone in Bear Town goes anywhere, they'll have to take your highway. It's better than advertising. Right. But here's the really good part. Think of all the money we'll make. Money? How do we do that? By using cheap materials, of course. You know, maybe I could get us a meal on a duck. I, I, I mean, a deal on muck. Right. Hmm. I don't know, boy. Most folks think Bear Town's just fine the way it is. But what about the traffic problem? Well, that's the problem. There is no problem. Don't you worry, Mr. Mayor. Just leave that to me. Papa! Papa! It's just terrible! We've got to do something! Hmm. The old Shagbark Hickory tree has been condemned. The old Shagbark Hickory has been condemned, huh? That's nice. Shagbark Hickory condemned? An outrage! Of all the high-handed, it can't be! It mustn't be! Yeah! They're gonna cut it down! It's something about a highway! Highway robbery is more like it! Robbery of one of our great symbols! It's time for action! Mama! What is it, dear? They're going to cut down the old Shagbark Hickory! We've got to hurry! What would we do without old Shagbark? That tree has gotten bear country through many an itchy season. Remember the indescribable itch of 77? How could I forget? What kind of an itch was it, Papa? Well, it was, uh, it was, uh, indescribable. Using the old shagbok hickory as a back scratcher is a bit unseemly, if you ask me. It is. 
is a pretty famous tree. That's right. And as chair bear of the Bear Country Historical Society, I am not about to sit by while one of our national monuments is destroyed. A traffic jam, a traffic jam, there's trying to be a traffic jam. <laughs> free honey. Drive, don't walk to the town square today for your free honey. See Rappy's Rock. <laughs> a busy sneak is a happy sneak. The oak is mighty, the maple is beautiful, but the shag bark hickory is a good scratch, and bows are hard to come by.